I lived an ordinary childhood, just like everyone else. I had minimal friends, but the ones I had were very close ones. School did not prepare us for what life would be like in the future, but here we are. Let me explain the regulatory process. After we hit 10 years of age, everyone has to take part in the trait ceremony to find out what animal trait we possess. They are based on the quirks we have that are similar to the spirit of a specific animal. At the trait ceremony, we are injected with some serum and we're made to enter into a simulation to find what animal spirit traits we are. All right, close your eyes, darling. We're just going to give you a short prick. Nothing to it. Okay. Every child has a different nature and personality. Some are brave, some are smart. As for not me, I was told I was different. I wasn't supposed to break out of the sim. In all the simulation medication they tested, I felt no emotion. I didn't react properly. They thought I was defective. Impossible. Darling, we, we need to have a little chat. What's wrong? Why am I not getting what I was told to? You see, everybody would normally be drawn into their tribe depending on what they would do to avoid the monster. But I didn't do anything. If I had not broken out of the simulation, I would be considered traitless. But I did. That was the mistake I had made. There is a rare chance that one may not be able to fit in as only one animal. If you have too many quirks, you are considered legenetic. This translates to being part of the legacy, which is rare. You may think I should be grateful to be legenic, but no. Being legenic made me feel worried and not fitting into a particular tribe like other people. I wish I was traitless. I wanted to stay with my mom. But, of course, not all things in life go according to the way you wanted to. So, how did your test go? It's fine if you don't want to tell me. I was tested as an elephant. Pretty neat, huh? I am... I... What should I say? I don't want to disappoint her, but I'm afraid to tell her. I tested as a night owl. Oh, cool. Ironic how you tested as a night owl and your name is Celeste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, Celeste? Tested... Genetic. Oh my god. Here I 
am now walking to go get some groceries for Anne. Well, not exactly. While others only have one animal trait, Legenetics can become any animal spirit they wish if they manifest the animal trait correctly. I heavily focus on a night owl. After speaking with Jane when I was young, my primary spirit animal is a night owl. Here you are, Anne. Oh, thank you, darling. Please leave them on this table. Sure thing! This is where I'm staying now. This is where all the flying animals live. Birds, insects, fairies, dragons, you name it. The aviary station. There are four homes for every type of animal. Landforms, aviary, oceana, and subterranean. This is where we train. But if I wanted to truly be a part of the legacy, I would have to visit all of them. Ah! Sorry, I'm so clumsy. Oh, it's alright. Hey, you're part of the aviary, right? Yeah, I am. Are you? Nah, I actually tested as a lion, which means I'm a landform. I'm Adrian. I just came here to study. Oh, really? Well, I'm a night owl. <laughs> oh, wow. I haven't seen a night owl in a while. Are you new here? Yeah, actually, I am new here. Well, I gotta run. I'll see you around. Yeah, sure thing. And what's your name? Uh, for heaven's sake. Hopefully nobody sees me with these books. People would think I'm some kind of outsider. Oh well, I know nothing about aviary anyway. Let's get reading. What? Why is everyone looking at me so strangely? All right, all right. That's enough. Hey, Celeste, right? Yeah, I'm Celeste. Why? Next time you go rambling on with your unintelligible speeches, do it in your mind. Huh? What do you mean? Someone showed me a video of you. Get your grip, or you won't make it to the skies. Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am? Nuh-uh. You got a lot to learn. Just call me Avion. All right, team, listen up. We got a lot of newcomers coming along, so we're starting off with a drill. I hope y'all have rested your wings. There's a dart on top of these ten pillars, 600 feet up high. Make it there first and grab the dart. Then, throw it onto the board while flying and hit a bullseye. Simple, right? What? How? How am I gonna do that? It's impossible! Hey, you. Did I say you could talk? Since you're new, I'll give you a chance, but never talk during instruction. If you want to stay, you gotta at least pass a standard line. Got that? Yes, ma- Avion. Alright, begin in three, two, one, go! <sighs> Come on! Whoa! Nothing like the morning drill! Hey, new initiate. Sorry, but you gotta get used to this. We have to do this every morning. Maybe... Uh, a bit too much? Maybe I should have picked another station. Come on, you didn't do too bad. It's just in the last 200 feet. Avion wanted to show you how it's done. She didn't need to do that. I could have done it myself. Well, I guess, but everyone had already thrown. Ugh, I know. Ugh, that didn't come out right. Hey. You. Watch where you're going next time. What? Hey, stop! What are you- <sighs> Where am I? So this is the new one. I imagined more. Strong at least, but it'll do. So, Celeste, tell me, what is your trait? So they don't know. I'm a night owl. But according to the DNA test, you're not only just a night owl, are you? Uh, um... Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. But of course, on one condition. W what? You'll give me the DNA test of every tribe, or you'll die. 
Not from me, of course, but from them. So, what will it be? Uh, um... Answer now, or forever will be your fate. Very well then. Men, eliminate her. Come on, come on, where's the exit to this place? There! Hopefully they don't find me here. Finally, outside- uh -huh. Amateur. What? How? What? When did you get here? Been watching the entire time. Air duct, huh? Wait, so this was planned? Well, not really. I just wanted to see what you would do. What did those guys want, anyway? Um... Tribe stuff. I don't know, okay? I just wanted to get out of there! Well, you'd better get out of here. They're probably still on the hunt. Yeah... So, where were you last night? Nowhere. Really? You've had to be somewhere. Just... why did you care? Oh, come on, don't be like that! I'm just... concerned. That's all. Well, it's none of your business. All right, all right! Ugh, I'm so exhausted from the morning drill. At least I didn't place last this time. Oh, it's Adrian again. Oh, hey, it's you again. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. You studying? Yeah, as always. <laughs> oh, sorry about last time. I was quite careless. My name's Celeste. Oh, Celeste. That's a nice name. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Apparently, they're a griffin. No one has ever seen one before. They must be extremely rare. Oh, what, really? Uh, you should meet up with them before they beat everyone up. <laughs> no way! I'm gonna get myself beaten up! Come on, give it a chance. Ugh. What? No way! You'd be dead to even think about that! Hey. Uh, uh, hi! So, I overheard some conversation about me. I'm Dean. Uh, I'm Celeste. Hopefully you didn't hear that awfully weird conversation. Bye! So... Don't you dare even think about it! Alright team, listen up. Our next task this time won't be a drill. This will be a test of fighting and endurance. Two of you will be in a sparring match. You will fight until one is strike to hit on the other. Flying is not prohibited. You may use your wings, but not go out of the border. Understood? Alright, first team, Judy and Koi. Second, Willow and Hannah. Third, Celeste and Dean. Wait, what? Is something wrong, Celeste? Uh, nothing. Oh my god, I really have to go against the Griffin? I'm not gonna make the station. Hey, it's alright. I'll go easy on you. Begin in three, two, one. Go! Come on, hit me! I'm trying, Dimwit! Oh, come on, I should have seen that coming! I'm fine, I can get up myself. You're useless. Dean, you didn't even get her DNA. Not even fingerprints. Disgrace. Ugh, please, just leave me alone, Mom.
Hey y'all, my name is Cass. Welcome to Kazumi Stories. I'd like to say hello to all my fans. Thank you so much for watching my video. It was a huge challenge for me to finish this video. I could not have done it without your continued support. I hope it was worth the wait and that you like it. Also, I'd like to thank once again all my fantastic voice actors, background makers, and animators for the continual support to the success of this and my other videos. Please go and check them out in the description. Further, if you enjoy this video and like to continue to support me to make more, then please share this video with your friends and family. Lastly, please check out my other content. Most importantly, please click on the like and hit the subscribe button. Leave a message of what you liked the most about this episode. Ah, that was exhausting, so now I'll go take a nap. Then, I'll finish up the next episode. I hope to see you all and hopefully more fans real soon. Thank you for all your love, patience, and support. Goodbye for now.